Now, what are the causes of water pollution? Chemicals released by smokestacks can enter the atmosphere and then fall back to earth as rain, entering seas, rivers and lakes and causing water pollution. That's called atmospheric deposition. When farmers fertilize the fields, the chemicals they use are gradually washed by rain into the groundwater or surface waters nearby and contaminate the water. Seaways disposal affects people's immediate environments and leads to water-related illness such as diarrhea that kills 760,000 children under 5 each year. When you flush the toilet, the waste has to go somewhere and even after leaves the sewage treatment works, there is still waste to dispose of. Sometimes sewage waste is pumped untreated into the sea. Suitably treated and used in moderate quantities, sewage can be a fertilizer. Chemical fertilizers used by farmers also add nutrients to the soil which drain into rivers and seas and add to the fertilizing effect of the sewage. Together, sewage and fertilizers can cause a massive increase in the growth of algae or plankton that overwhelms huge areas of oceans, lakes or rivers. This is known as a harmful algal bloom. A lot of toxic pollution also enters wastewater from highway runoff. Highways are typically covered with a cocktail of toxic chemicals, everything from spill fuel and brake fluids to bits of worn tires and exhaust emissions. When it rains, these chemicals wash into drains and rivers. Detergents and many chemicals used in the manufacturing units also pollute the surface and groundwater. Another kind of toxic pollution comes from heavy metals such as lead, commonly used in gasoline, cadmium and mercury, commonly used in battery. At high enough concentration, it can kill. In lower concentrations, it can cause cancers and other illness. The biggest source of radioactive pollution can be seen in places where factories reprocess waste fuel from nuclear power plants. Huge black oil slicks represent only a tiny fraction of all the pollution entering our oceans. Only 12% of the oil that enters the oceans comes from tanker accidents. Over 70% of oil pollution at sea comes from routine shipping and from the oil people pour down drains on land. Plastic is far and away the most common substance that washes up with the waves and present a major hazard to seabirds, fish and other marine creatures. For example, plastic fishing lines and other debris can strangle or choke fish. Alien species, animals or plants from one region that have been introduced into a different ecosystem where they do not belong. Outside their normal environment, they have no natural predators, so they rapidly run wild, crowding out the usual animals or plants that thrive there. Common examples of alien species include zebra mussels in the Great Lakes of the USA, which were carried there from Europe by ballast water. So, do not pollute the water. Keep it clean for now and later. Thank you.